Hello and welcome to my video where we discuss how crop factors can affect images. So you'll see here I'm shooting um, images of a model here and I'm positioned on a bench here and you can see I've got my 5D with my 85mm f1.8 lens. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to compare a full frame camera which I own, the Canon 5D, to a micro four thirds camera and you can see these two cameras here now at the moment. And I'm going to use an adapter, it's a dumb adapter, to connect the Canon lens to the Micro Four Thirds body. So the adapter doesn't do anything, it just bridges the gap and holds it all together. So I lose autofocus when I put a Canon lens on a Micro Four Thirds body. I'm using these two cameras because they have a very similar megapixel count. So where I can, I'm trying to keep everything as even as possible. So you'll see here, I've got my Canon 5D with the 85mm f1.8 lens on set at f1.8 and I'm taking a picture of the model over here and this is what that image looks like in Lightroom so it's a nice crisp image um, I'm very happy with it and here you can see that I've got the Canon 85mm 1.8 lens with the adapter on the micro four thirds body and the model has stayed in the same position and I've taken a similar shot again and here's what that image looks like. So let's just compare those. So what do you notice? The Micro Four Thirds body has zoomed in much more because of the two times crop factor. So the focal length has changed. Remember, I'm in the same position, but the focal length has changed. It's gone from 85 millimeters in full frame to 170 millimeters once we put it on the Micro Four Thirds body. So here's another image I've taken. Again, this is with my 5D at 1.8. And what I've done is this a nice street image. And we're going to look now at depth of field and how the depth of field changes. You'll notice this is quite crisp. The background is quite blurred. But I want us to pay particular attention to this number plate here. We can't read this number plate at all. It's too blurred. No idea what that says. Now, if I stand in the same position and I take the same image with the Micro Four Thirds camera with the 85mm 1.8 lens and don't change the aperture and don't change the settings, this is what I get because we know it zooms in. Now, you'll notice it's probably a good point to say here, I'm shooting at ISO 100, 1 800th of a second, and I'm shooting at ISO 200, 1 800th of a second here. To try and keep everything consistent, I didn't change the aperture. When I put it on the Micro Four Thirds camera, I had to use manual focus rather than any autofocus. But the base ISO of my Micro Four Thirds camera is 200, and the base ISO of my Canon is 100. So I shot an aperture priority to try and keep things as simple as possible and keep the comparison as possible. And here I've stood in the same position, I've got that. With this image, I've moved back further until I feel I've got a similar image to this one where possible it's going to be difficult to judge I'm not going to get it exactly right she won't be exactly the same size because I've been walking back till I've got the image I want but let's have a look at this number plate over here you can clearly see on this number plate you can clearly make these letters out F M or W A now you might say, let's look at the whole number plate, but I don't want to put someone's number plate on the internet. So I framed my image so that only the last three digits were visible. That's only fair for a stranger's car on the internet. So let's have a look at these two images again. Here, completely blurred. Here, readable. And that's not because the aperture has changed. It's not to do with the focal length changing. It's to do with the depth of field changing. Remember, the lens was kept in the same aperture setting and therefore it didn't. I didn't change it when I put it on the Micro Four Thirds camera. I didn't have it letting less light in. I didn't have it letting more light in. I kept it on the same. Probably a good time to mention that for both cameras, both their sensors were covered by the light from the lens. I'm going to say please be kind to people who make comments about this video. Please be kind to my responses. I really don't want to see an argument over depth of field in a YouTube video. So just please be patient with people and please respect their opinions 
and their desires to comment.